All right, boys, and welcome back to episode 53 of the Transfer Target. 53 episodes later, and the wait is finally over. Wolfsburg and the most annoying man in football, Klaus Alofs, have finally given in. And Kevin De Bruyne will become a Manchester City player, maybe before Watford. It looks like it's going to be before Watford, barring a disaster. Um, he will become the most expensive Belgian player ever. And at 74 million euros, I hope he's worth every penny. It's about 54 million pounds which is about 12 million more than we were expecting, but it's taken us until six days, five days now, before the transfer window closes, but we finally got our man. Uh, De Bruyne is still in Germany right now, whilst uh, the club and city finalise a payment structure, but he's expected to fly into Manchester later today, and all he needs to do is complete his medical, sign on the dotted line, and he will be a Man City player. His personal terms have already been agreed with City, um, and Christophe Thoreau, who's been fantastic on Twitter throughout this whole never-ending saga, um, said last night that he expects De Bruyne to be a City player either today or tomorrow. So I imagine he'll be unveiled before the Watford game. But we finally got our man and we now have by far the strongest squad in the Premier League. Our strength in depth is insane now. We've got four brilliant centre-halves. We've got four brilliant central midfielders. We've got Nasri or De Bruyne for one position, or, or even Navas. We've got Silva or De Bruyne. Oh, we've, we've got everything. Sterling on the left, Aguero or Boney up front. And then when you bring the youth into play as well, our, our squad is immense. Khaldun and uh, Cheeky did have a bit of criticism, and I think you'll all take it back now. A lot of people um, were commenting saying, oh, Cheeky doesn't do his job properly. We've gone out and we've signed... Otamendi to strengthen the defence, Delph to strengthen in the middle of the park, De Bruyne to strengthen in, in the, um, like the attacking midfield role and Sterling just to add what we've been missing. It's been a phenomenal transfer window and now we've got De Bruyne, the, the jigsaw is complete and the Champions League this season there are no excuses, absolutely none. We need to hope for a bit of luck in the draw later on today and let, on that note, later on today we'll be doing it live, we'll be covering the draw live um, on Periscope, so follow us on Twitter, the link is on the end board, so check that out. And we'll be doing a, a draw reaction straight after the draw, uh, discussing who we've got. But I want to know your thoughts on De Bruyne. Obviously people have been getting impatient, we thought it's never going to get done. It's done. we finally got De Bruyne at City. What do you think about him? Are you, are you excited by him? Are you just a bit deflated that it's taken this long? I'm absolutely buzzing. We've got the most wanted uh, Belgian player in history. We've got one of the best young players, his assists and his goals for Wolfsburg were just on another planet last year. Bundesliga Player of the Year. And at 24, at, with Sterling at 20, these are two players now who can carry City in the next six, seven years. I'm well excited anyway. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. The saga is over. Kevin De Bruyne is in the middle of the transfer target, finally. So like the video, comment below, share it, subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you tomorrow for episode 54 of the Transfer Target. I think we won 2-1. 3-0. 3-0, we won 3-0. We won 3-0. Top of the levy.